1918, Umtata Trans King, a small village in the Eastern Cape of South Africa, welcomed a son. Rohilakla Dalibunga. Little did they know that the boy from Trans K would turn out to be one of the iconic figures of the 20th century. Nelson Mandela. He was born into the Madiba tribal clan of the Tembu people to Chief Henry Mgadla Mandela. At only nine years old, his father died, and he was raised by the acting ruler of the Tembu people. He joined the Hilltown Methodist Boarding School before proceeding to the University College of Fort Ham, and later enrolled at the University of Witwatersrand, from where he graduated in law in 1942. At 25 years old in 1943, Mandela began what would later define his life. He joined the African National Congress as an activist and co-founded the ANC Youth League in 1944. The same year, he married his first wife, Evelyn Masse. With rampant racial segregation, Mandela emerged as a strong opponent of the apartheid regime. Following the 1952 defiance campaign, he embarked on a countrywide crusade, organizing resistance against discrimination. It landed him in trouble. A ban that confined him to Johannesburg for six months was imposed. But that did not deter him. He teamed up with Oliver Tambo and kept the campaign against apartheid alive. The 1955 Congress of the People marked a new beginning for the struggle that saw Mandela charged with treason along with 155 other activists. The charges against him were dropped after a four-year trial. It may have served to fuel the resistance against the apartheid government, which gained momentum by the day. In the midst of the struggle, Mandela married his second wife, Winnie Madikizala, in 1958, a year after separating from his first wife, Evelyn Masse, with whom they had three children. On the political front, tension with the apartheid regime escalated to new heights. The 1960 killing of 69 blacks in the Sharpeville massacre marked the end of a peaceful resistance. There are many people who feel that it is useless and futile for us to continue talking peace and non-violence against a government whose reply is only savage attacks on an unarmed defenseless people. Mandela launched a campaign of sabotage against the country's economy, but the apartheid government moved to crack down on the resistance and banned the ANC. Mandela was briefly detained before he went underground, from where he pushed for the setting up of a military wing within the ANC. In 1961, um Konto where was born. In 1962, Mandela left the country for military training in Algeria. Upon his return, he was captured and charged with leaving the country illegally and attempting to overthrow the government. Many leaders of the Um Konto where were also arrested. He was convicted and jailed for five years in November 1962. While serving his sentence, he was charged in the Rivonia trial, and in the winter of 1964, Mandela was convicted of treason and sentenced to life in prison. He started his prison years in the infamous Robben Island prison, a maximum security facility on a small island off the coast of Cape Town. In the space of 12 months, between 1968 and 1969, Mandela's mother died, and his eldest son was killed in a car crash but he was not allowed to attend the funerals. Confined to a small cell, the floor for his bed, a bucket for a toilet, he was forced to do hard labor in a quarry, was allowed one visitor a year for 30 minutes, he could write and receive one letter every six months. 
Imprisonment did not send him into oblivion. He became a worldwide symbol of resistance to racism and later the world's most famous prisoner. In prison, Mandela rejected offers which included one by P.W. Botha for freedom if he renounced violence. He remained in prison on Robben Island for 18 years before being transferred to the Poulsmore prison in Cape Town in 1982. In December 1988, he was moved to the Victor Vesta prison. As Mandela and other ANC leaders languished in prison or lived in exile, South Africa's black township children helped sustain the resistance. On the 2nd of February 1990, South African President F.W. de Klerk finally lifted the ban on the ANC and other anti-apartheid organizations. And after nearly three decades behind bars, Nelson Mandela walked to freedom from the Victor Vesta prison on the 11th of February 1990, sending the country into a frenzy. <laughs> In his first public address in 27 years, Mandela pushed the struggle agenda. The struggle which necessitated the armed struggle still exists today. We have no option but to continue. After his release, Mandela and his delegation agreed to the suspension of the armed struggle. A new dawn for the nation beckoned. Nelson Mandela, Soweto's favorite son, was to play a leading role in the rebirth of South Africa, crowning in style a life of struggle and selflessness. Rita Tinina, NTV.